How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey man, we good. Man. All right, so so I'm glad everybody's finally on. We can go ahead and start this thing. Like I was telling um Dave and Rob earlier that um we might get this cut short because it's gonna only last 30 minutes. So if it cuts us short, we'll just go ahead and do another um session right after this, if need be. Okay. All right. All right, cool, cool. But yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm I'm glad everybody is here. Uh, mainly, we're just going to get into what's affecting us all right now and why, you know, we, we're in this position now, which is COVID-19, coronavirus. So basically, I just want to see how is um, this ep this pandemic affecting everybody in each and everybody's uh, city, town, state? Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, uh, go ahead, Dave. Yeah. Go. Oh, go with me? Um, yeah, go ahead. Be honest with you, me personally, ain't nothing stopped for me. You right. know what I mean, between like the job and everything, like it's just different schedule change and all that, but nothing stopped. It's still the same one, two for myself. Um, but like that's me, like by myself, but as a the family unit, right. you know, but everything's different. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like I realize how un, uh, I don't want to say dumb I am. But I realized how I need to refresh in schoolwork, yeah. dealing like trying to teach these kids. <laughs> Bro, like yeah. I was yeah. literally YouTubing stuff to help Destiny. Like she's in like like high level grass, and I'm thinking like I right, see twelve. I just a breeze. Right. I'm looking yeah. at that. It was like in Spanish to me. And then you have to learn how they do. They do it their way. You can't teach mm -hmm. them your way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's a whole other thing. So in their way, it seems it just seems foreign to me. Like mm -hmm. it's too many steps. Like with math, I do my money and my math. All my math is in my head. I don't know how to write math. Okay. Like you get what I'm saying? So like every I'm great at math, but it's up here. I never knew how to write it. So she's mm -hmm. teaching me how to write math, and I'm teaching her how to do shortcuts. Okay. I'm saying so. Yeah. That's that's about it with me. Um, and I just can't like business wise. I can't I can't hustle like I used to. Like being people faces, pop up. Like I said, I lost a ton of money on this pop up shop because I had I based all the my inventory for people to have. It's like certain clothes you can sell online and without seeing it. Then there's other clothes you got to touch. You got to feel, you got to see it, you got to try it on so you can really sell it. Right. And I, I put a lot of that touch situation for this pop-up shop. And when the coronavirus hit, it was the same week as the pop-up shop. So when the city shut down, it, it, it was it. So now, yeah. I'm, and I'm thinking like, all right, we'll probably have to wait for two weeks. Bro, I didn't think it was going to be like this. Yo. Uh, like, that's no, different. They, yeah, they, they, they pushing past Mace, some, some states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, like, like, yeah. Crazy. yeah, see, for me, it's like kind of the same thing, man. Um, right. It's like parts of my life did stop. Like for me, what didn't stop for me was I still go to work because I'm a central worker. Um, still going to, still going to all the other things. The only thing that was really on pause for me was like being a father because, you know, my kids don't live with me and all that. So right. I just have to make means and stuff, you know, keep talking to them, texting and stuff like that, FaceTiming with them to keep right. that relationship and stuff like that. But besides that, um, what really changed is like a life-changing experience. I, I don't never sit down in real life. So this is for to be to learn how to sit down somewhere. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like, like, that's yeah. big yeah. too. Like, yeah. like not moving, like literally go yeah. to work and then come right home and can't do nothing. Nothing. Like, yeah. A lot of my hustle. My, and a lot I, of my yo, hustle. For me, I needed that. Like I really need it because I'm always on the go, always on trips, always on a plane somewhere. So like my money like never caught up with where I was going. But now that I'm able to sit and you know I'm mm -hmm. with everybody else, you know, great for I'm essential and everything like that. But now I'm able to sit and just stack. You know what I'm saying? Now for me, I don't cook, so now I'm actually looking at YouTube videos and trying to cook. On my own and everything, yeah. so that's how I was looking at it. Rob, it's a lot yeah. of women out here like that too. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, Even though I, yeah. And it's cool that you know the folks is real close and everybody, okay. you know, everybody good as far as mom and dad and everything. So that's good. Me, it's more of a productive system for me as long as I got my job and I just go to work, come home and stack and I don't take these 
chicks on forty dollar dates here and then left and right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep my money in my pocket. I'm good. So absolutely. Yo, now so I got good. a question for pops. Like pops, as an older, as an older person and stuff like that, how does that affecting you and like what changes in your lifestyle did you have to make up? For me, I am concerned on the medical level. Um, just being an individual that I've gotten older and uh, got some things going on, and I'm if I get sick, I'm concerned. Like I'm hoping I don't get sick, but how it would affect me from a, from a medical uh, perspective. That's my primary concern. Um, plus, I, 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 I don't get a chance to see brands as much as I normally do, which you know. Uh, that, that, that's you know that bothers me, but you know. But and other than that, though, uh, it's given me a chance to really uh, sit down and really do things online. I mean, yeah, you know, my, yeah. my website starting to pick up some things, and you know, I, I, I'm good with it. So that's the whole thing. Plus, yeah. I see a lot of people that I know or. or, or, or we're friends with in my age group, they get it and they're gone. And I'm right. I think that damn, you know, that's my concern. Like if I get it. That's now, my let concern. You, let me ask you something, Pop. Now you just said that you know you know people. So you know you, you personally know somebody that uh, like that got it and then you know and passed? Or or you just yeah. saying, like you yeah. did. It's got, it's Guy named Jackson. This guy named Jackson. Um, I met him. Well, he's a friend of Gene, but I met him at a barbecue, and it turns out we played ball against each other. I went to Bloomfield Tech. He went to North Tech. So we had a barbecue. We were talking about the old day how we played against each other. You know, I'm proud he played the old North Tech gym where you had to shoot line drive something. Because a friend of mine, Harry Max, he had a high jump shot. He shot the jump and hit the ceiling. And, you know, so we were talking about that or whatever. But you know, he had diabetes. He had heart disease. He got it. He died last week. Wow. You know, and I just hooked wow. up with the brother. And I know another guy. He went to Greekway, Group of Ross, and he was all state, also in ball. And he he runs the North uh, Summer League at Weekway Park. He got it. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I know you talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand he's still in the ICU. I don't know. If, wow. You know, they said he so, but he, he ran in the summer league last year because he was trying to like, man, you come on. I said, you know, for me, that's a bit much because I went to see a couple games. And, and you know, we, we, we hooked up. So, it, for me, it, in my age group, it's frightening. It's, it's, it's really like, damn, you know. And, and I don't. I do not see it unless they come up with a vaccine soon. This is the new normal. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I see it. And I was talking about a business opportunity is, you know, businesses are not going to go to, you're not going to be able to go into the store. You go order online, they shop for you, you go to the store and you pick and they, and they give it to you. That could right. be the new normal. Right, right, right. Anybody who anybody market on just an app or something like that, like hey, I got an app. You say what you want from the store or stores to put like 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 um you got a Walmart down there. Walmart is gonna go to we put up the app, you shop online, we our workers will now shop for you. You come and pick it up. And 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 that keeps the people out of stores, uh, social distancing. The only people in the store are the people who are working who are actually shopping. And your, your task will be to go and pick up the food. So they right. Have the, that's what it's going to be Yeah. Anybody going to bank on that, you know, <laughs> that's, that's what's going Yeah. It, it, you know, it's and funny it's that we have the technology to do that now. Now, imagine if we didn't, like, you know, like 10, 15 years ago, we didn't have this technology where we had apps on our phone and we can literally shop online and go there and pick it up or have it delivered to us, you know? Right. So so it is, you know, uh, in a way, it's good that maybe that is happening now, but if it happened like 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, it would have been a struggle for us to really even do that. 
to even shout, to even communicate and stuff like that. Mm. Hey, 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 Pop, real quick, real quick, Pop. You got, you got headphones? I got headphones? Yeah, do you got headphones? Yeah. Hey, can you, because the thing is, so your headphones, I use it on my computer because I show up my class on Monday. I'm going to be working uh, training for to be a call center representative with Comcast starting on Monday. So let me get my headphones from my computer. I will put the phone down, all right? All right. All right. Hey, did that work for me too? Am I got the record? Nah, because you're, you're outside, right? Yeah. So, so your 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 feedback is not bouncing off his, it's bouncing off the wall. Oh, you know that yeah, it was a little different. <laughs> Look at you, he paid attention to science class. All right, man, I tried, bro. I tried. <laughs> I was giving away food and snacks, man. <laughs> Where the hell is Jules, though? Oh, there you go. Oh, he's still here. Yeah, I'm Yo, still I here. I wish I could get everybody on one thing. It, it keeps, like, I got to keep Yeah, you got to slow Yeah. Yeah, I can see everybody at one time. Uh, um, get out of here. I, I, I cannot do the headphone thing. I mean, my headphone, the USB, I don't know how to put it up to my phone. <laughs> Oh. All right, so look. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. I'm sorry. I'm not... no, that's all right. Look, all right. Let's, 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 let's get you a little pe uh, cheap pair of um, like the earbuds for your phone. Right. And that'll work. You know, the earbuds because it comes with. Oh, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. You can get them anywhere for cheap, you know, under five dollars, and that'll that'll definitely help out with the you know the audio, the sound quality. All right, I'll try to go to Walgreens. I'm trying to go to Family Dollar and see if I can get that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but um, just to continue on with this uh with this subject with this uh the coronavirus and how it's affecting me. Um, right now, it's uh, it's put a little dent in my pocket financially. Um, because as y'all know, uh, I, I get my hustle on too at night, so yeah. all the parties, yeah. all the photography yeah. that I have lined up, the videography that I had lined up, all that stuff shut down, you know. Mm. Um, so it, it hurt me in that aspect big time. Um, um but at the same time, it was it was some people still kind of reaching out to me to do little photo sessions and stuff like that, and I had to kind of turn them down, you know, just because of the situation. Because I want to get it caught out there, and you know, it's not essential work. You know, I'm I'm out yeah. there taking pictures. That's not essential. <laughs> you know? Right, so, um, right. These bills are essential, though. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. These bills are <laughs> essential. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, as far as like my uh, like my other jobs, um. They cut back on some hours. Um, the movie theater that I uh, that I work, you know, that's shut down. But I'm still getting paid from it, so I'm not I'm not really stressed on that. As of I right mean, wifey, now. wifey went straight to unemployment, like right from the rip, like really? that. Yeah, Word. you know, what I mean, I, I I started getting used to this two income thing, mm -hmm. and that shit hit different. When she was like, I ain't getting nothing. I was like, What do you mean? Like, so yeah. when they did the unemployment like, and with unemployment. When unemployment, you're only getting a percentage. You're not even getting a full. Of course. So we just, yeah. and my overtime is gone really a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and because a lot of, you know what I mean? What, you know, what I do, we in the streets, we in the courts, we everywhere. Now, since the court shut down, now there's a bunch of officers that's in the street. So you don't need overtime. Like, yeah. people call out every day. And it's still like, all right, we, we got so, it now. good. We got it. Yeah, with, that, right. with, that, with all y'all being in the streets, like, I know you're Jersey. I just want to know, is, like, crime and everything has gone down, you think, a lot? Oh, or? this is North, baby. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just found the body. No, they just found the body in Orange Park. They dropped the kid in the water. They found the body. This is... Yeah, man. 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 I went running I in the park. I went running to be crazy, man. And they said they at night. I thought people would have kind of slowed down with that. 
I said, I said, I said, the body that they found, I went running that morning. I was in the park that morning running because I and I got kicked out when but when the boys said, Hey, the park is closed. I said, Oh shit. That afternoon, I guess, that's when they found the body. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I was working that day when that like they and you know, I mean they they snatched that kid up in March and they dumped him in the body. I mean they dumped they just confirmed that was him. They dumped him in the water and they just found him like that was last week. Like so wow. I mean man. it is like it's so uh, ruthless out here, man. It really is. But I can tell you this, a lot of the, like, from what I see personally, domestic violence is up, right? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? That shit is out of all, like, that's up. But, like, other, like, like, domestic violence is up, theft is up, and car theft is up. But other than that, like, like, robberies, nobody's what? out. It's, you got to be out to get robbed. So that's right, down, right. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. other than that, um, but it's certain parts of North, it's the jungle. It's, a, it's like... It is what I it mean, is. Stuff it ain't is just going to change. Like, yeah. Oh, like, man. I was hoping. Man. I was hoping they're a little different, but... Me too. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not. Got the wild. summer around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> People locked in and stuff like that, waiting to get out. The summer going to be crazy, man. So yeah. I'm not, I won't be nowhere around this summer. <laughs> yeah. Let me say you something. This summer... Yeah, like, it's, and it's, it's, totally, it's totally different down here in the South. Like, you know, like, the only thing that's crazy, like, the traffic. Traffic is... There's like no cool. traffic in the streets, like, mm-hmm. and like what Mike was saying, like, there's a few people that you know I follow on social media or whatever. That's all they did, you know, not even for work. They were clubbing all the time. So now it's people that they they like social butterflies. They just stuck. So See, that's what my that's the greatest We thing. had TV growing up for real. We had outside was it? So you know, I know how to keep myself occupied. Exactly, 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 exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. So. Mm. I say no. if you between the ages of thirty to at least, I mean, and no offense, pop. I mean, <laughs> but if you at least between the age of thirty and I say like forty five, we're the only era that fifteen, that fifteen year era. We're the only era that really knew what it was to not have a cell phone, to be occupied, yep. like yeah. and to have one and understand yeah. it. Like you know what I'm saying. Other than that, it's just like. Well, yeah, understand it to the highest event. Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. like, a lot of these young kids, like, I was just talking yeah, to, because, um... So, you know, but, you know, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I did, but we didn't have a cell phones, and, you know, so the technology, um, <laughs> the only thing that's different for me so I had is that... Signals, I, huh? <laughs> the only thing that's different is, like, what are going to do this summer? If there's no parks, there's no barbecue. Well, I barbecue anyway. Y'all, well, I'm about y'all to say, I'm barbecuing. Yeah, I don't know that. that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But like I the family, the family gatherings, right you know, the big yeah. family gatherings, you know, yeah. the festivals, you know, all that is going to be. Word. Up. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be cut off. But what I found different was what? I recently had a couple people close to me being one of my cousins, two on my mom's side, die. And the way they're doing funerals is just, like, crazy. She didn't die from the it's cold. on Zoom. They doing funerals on Zoom. This shit is crazy. Exactly. It's yeah. crazy, man. It's just like... Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even think about that. Dang. Yeah. Man. And if you got COVID and you die, you ain't no funeral. You having a memorial, but you're not having a funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Earning yeah. the body. You know what? Yeah. Uh, two weeks ago, I got a call from a guy that I did his um his baby shower, and he wanted me to videotape the funeral of somebody that his and his family that passed away from it wow. because the because the funeral home wouldn't allow a lot of people. So he was like, "If you can videotape it and then send it out, then he could send the video of the service out to you know to the rest of the family members." Mm-hmm. It's just so. When he asked me to do it, it was like on a Tuesday at two o'clock. You know, I'm, I'm working then, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do it. But I was like, wow, people are even not allowed to conjugate at a funeral unless it's, you know, immediate family because of the whole situation. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, not man. allowed to die in peace, man. Right now, ah, yeah, that's just crazy. crazy. And yeah. on top of that is, um, like, I was just talking to Nancy a couple, like, couple maybe last week or so, mm-hmm. and I didn't even put it in perspective, uh, but. She brought up Naya. Like, uh-huh. like one of our biggest things is graduation, yeah, um, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. She will have none of that. Wow. 
The yeah, prom. If you were having, yeah, yeah box, like, you was telling about the prom. Yeah. Yep. Can't walk oh, she the ain't gonna have no prom. That's no, prom, wow. no graduation. Wow. Matter of fact, like, that's, since that's our little cousin, that's good. She ain't got no damn prom. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, that, but, that, but go ahead, go ahead, pop. That whole class, that whole class, you know, they that's 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 the us. baseball season and the football season is not gonna happen. Oh, so I, you I don't get think it's gonna happen oh, either. No, it's not a no, football season that. gotta happen. It's too nah, many million. Million. All them people that this virus is highly contagious. <laughs> now you play, you gotta play football. What you tackle somebody, you gotta be in his face, you dripping on him. Come on, man. That ain't gonna happen. He's dripping on. <laughs> Forget season. I know you bad, bro. Yeah. Huh? Hey, Rob, all that hard work you did for your season, how you feel about that? I mean, I ain't gonna flex. I'm. I just put my whole body in rehab mode. I'm relaxing right now, but uh, I do feel like this is like a, a even like great opportunity to go out. You know what I'm saying? Fine fields. You're not going like, to just It's just you putting the work. Despite what's going on, it's all your mental game. I feel like Hoopers still should be able to go out there and hoop. I still see out there with, you know, the net and everything. It's just you out there. Social distance, man. Get your shots up. With me with football, about to get some parks going. Get my dad out here and make sure he have his mask and everything. He's six feet. He be yelling at me as much anyway. He don't even need to be six feet. So, you know what I'm saying? He just put me to work. So, I just yeah. get all this stuff as positive as I can because it and, is crazy. And, 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 and that's the only way I can think of it. Right so. The question I have for Julian, you're the military. Yes, mm -hmm. How much – listen, we heard about the Navy carrier that the Roosevelt – has half their crew got COVID. How, how is that impacted? Like your job with the military, with all you want police, you know, how is that impacted, God? It's really not impacting us as much. Me being a medical service, I'm a firefighter in the Air Force as well, and all that stuff. We, we're masked up. Everything we do is masked up. Like I haven't really been on a call at my job on the state side in almost a month. And last mm -hmm. time that we went, really went on a call, it was at the airport, Atlantic City Airport, and I had got sick at work, and I was getting off shift that morning. So I went to the hospital, and then, like, less than an hour later, we had, uh, but I wasn't there, but my crew had responded to somebody at the airport of a man down, you know, six symptoms. By the time they arrived, they was they had to get to do CPR and all that, COVID and all. I don't know if he had COVID or not, but... But so far, as far as the military and stuff, they're definitely deployed in uh, cities and states mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And they're definitely taking extreme precautions and stuff as far as masks and gowns and PPE and stuff. They're being extra precautions, man. So that's all we can do, really. Yeah. Do you have do do y'all guys in the city have a uh, a stay at home curfew? Like, uh, they they, they do down here in the A. They do down here in the A. Um, it's actually crazy because the governor, you know. He's more Republican, but we have a black uh, mayor, female mayor, mm -hmm. and she's yeah. been running things to the point where she's making bigger moves than the governor. So that's when the government had to come out and say something because it, it like, because Atlanta, everything's 30 minutes away, but every county is different. Like you run into like four different counties. So each county was doing their own little things and, you know, people working all over the place. So it got a little crazy. Okay. But as far as I know, like the only shutdown is downtown Atlanta is like, that's dead. Like it, everything's mm -hmm. probably shut down by like six, seven o'clock. All the outside counties is, I think it's like till like nine. Um, like fast food. Like if you if you don't have a plan to go to your fast food restaurant early out the day, like don't even try it. Like Zach's exactly. they done that at eight. That line be out to the middle of the street. Like it's, uh -huh. it's like. I just kind of wish those people got paid a little bit more because they really out here busting and, and, and working real hard in the fast food industry out here. So. Yeah. I can uh, say now, this, though. See? On, every, on everything, I really hope that they allow us to um, claim um, the grocery bills uh, on our taxes this year because a nigga been shopping, shopping. Like, DJ, <laughs> well, bro? Yeah, yeah, DJ like, ain't playing no games. Yo, bro, he eating just because he bored. Like, yeah. this is like, yo, like, this dude, man, is different. Project bro. moves in full effect, baby. No, Project no. moves in full effect. I can't, yo, I can't <laughs> talk, man. I'm doing the same thing over here, too, man. 
this like, eating, this snacking. I'm, see, I, I'm not, though. That's the thing. Like, I'm still on my regular regimen. Okay. <laughs> still meal planning. Like, I mean, I be feeling for everybody, but, like, I don't have none of those issues. The only thing now is, like, just the time I get off around 6.30 and the time I go in, I just got to be real smart on when I'm going to go to the store because, you know, you don't want to go too early because all the elderly up in there. And then you go late, boy, it's just Ratchet City up in there. Then. Yeah. I'm in Atlanta, so, I mean, I'm talking about they just they just wild. So that's the only thing is just picking the time to grocery shop, mm-hmm. make sure I got my list, go in, grab everything I need, and be out. Yeah. And now, then, I'm a- you know, I'm going to double back on what Rob said. Rob said, you're a big traveler, right? We're all pretty yeah. much big travelers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got caught right in the middle of the cor- the quarantine lockdown for the whole country. I was over, and three weeks ago, I, w- I flew out from JFK to Cali, to L.A. I stayed out there a couple of days, and that's when they start ordering things to shut down. So I'm <laughs> like, okay. Only things that was open was like the taco food trucks and stuff like that. So Man. my plan was to go to Cali and drive to Vegas. So I did my my plans. I drove to Vegas. Hotels were shut down by the time I got to Vegas. And this is only a matter of days, way less than a week, not even half of the week. So everything Man. in Vegas was shut down, um, the strip, everything. Like, so I couldn't do nothing in Cali or Vegas. And then, so I stayed one night in Vegas and then I went to fly out. And as soon as I checked in, got past TSA, they canceled my flight because one of the uh, tower guys had caught it. So then I had to go from Vegas and I drove to Arizona. Long story short, I had to drive from all like three different cities or states just to get out of the West, just to get back onto the East. So yeah, that's during the middle of the uh, the lockdown. Where'd you stay in Vegas? Did you find a hotel in Vegas or like you stayed in your car? No, no, my people got people over there. I mean, like, you know? So yeah, I'm over there till at somebody's house, eating up all their stock food and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> using up all their yeah. stock toilet paper. <laughs> Everything, bro. And, that, Everything. and that's and that's kind of like with traveling, like even from traveling from here on out, man. It's can't go to them <laughs> other countries and everything like that. No more. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and y'all could call me crazy. Like I had a trip to Mexico already set up, right? It's paid for everything. I didn't cancel it yet. I was going to wait till Monday to be like, yo, listen, like, I was going <laughs> But when, when is it? When is it supposed to happen? That's like, crazy. To be honest with you, it's supposed to happen May 20... It's around Lori's birthday, like the 19th and the 20th. Right. We're supposed to fly out. Yeah. We're supposed to be out there you for like five go? days. Yo, bro, and it's a luxury trip. Like, I put bread up. I call, right. First, I called, like, yo, let me get my money back. They right. was like, nah, we could just... Push your dress back. 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 Credit I mean, just that, whatever. But yeah, yeah. man, I'm talking about. The part you said that, Dave, I got it like, I, I I'm talking to whatever. She's a flight attendant. She booked us a flight to go to China in October. I'm like, I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> China is out the question for everybody. <laughs> Oh yeah, as far as yeah, as far as blacks, yeah. They they back to normal life out there though. There's a uh, young lady I know that she so, teaches. So, can everything. you travel or, or or are you prohibited from traveling at all? Oh, right now I'm essential for the state and stuff, so I can't go nowhere. I gotta stay by work and stuff. Can't go anywhere. Plus, if we go out of state, if we go out of state, we have to let them know. We got to let them know. Now, let's say something happened in VA. I got to shoot down and link up with you, Mike. I have to call my job, let them know, get permission. Because this is a state of emergency. Yeah. Yeah. We had the terrorist joint. Yeah. yeah, so it's a state of emergency. We can't leave. Now, as emergency personnel, it's just you from law enforcement, or, or what about the support staff, the secretaries, and the people like that? Are they out as well, or just the, or just the uniform personnel working? Pop, you you came in completely broken up on my end. I, I didn't get the, the, the question. Okay, uh, I, I know I got to get a better thing, but my question is simple: as a uniform officer, are the uniform personnel working? And the support staff, the secretaries, and everybody else, are they are they working as well, or they just they just shut down? Um, 
like uniform officers, we're working like the support staff, as in like the administ administration side. They're not really working face to face. Like, if you got any questions, anything like that, it's email, Skype, FaceTime, Zoom. Um, but you gotta go through your chain of command to even get permission to reach out to them because everybody's like, like it was people that was retiring in the middle of this COVID thing. And they can't retire. They can't. They finish their paperwork because there's certain things you gotta do in person. So, like, imagine that. Like, you work 25, 30 years, and it's time for you to retire. This should happen, and you the hold up. Yeah, and imagine it's like worst of worst, you pass away, and you ever see none of your like this is, and you don't do your paperwork, and suddenly your family don't get whatever they're supposed to get. It's it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, this is, it has a domino effect in so many areas that you yeah, know, it just it's, it's, it's a bad situation for a lot of people. Oh, you know oh. what I mean? yeah, 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 it definitely is, man. Yeah, but you know, we just gotta. You know, I had to lock. I had to yeah. lock down uh, last week. Uh, uh, Workers' test came back because it, he took him back. And that we took out a whole shift, so uh, like couldn't work couldn't test came back. So it, it's crazy, man. It's definitely so Dave, Dave or Jules, have y'all took the the test? Have y'all took it at all? Man? Nah, they say nah, you ain't got uh, no symptoms. If you ain't got no symptoms, you can't take it. They won't let you take it. You gotta have symptoms. And then, like if you got no symptoms, they're not even let you because you gotta call. Well, emergency services for me and Julian is different. I think we can get it faster because of yeah. what we do. But it's either way though, they won't if you don't got no symptoms and you just showing up regularly, they got like, nah, you good. Right. You, right. They, the main thing is this. It's it's look, and this is just my opinion. I really believe we all have it in our system. Corona has been around for a long time. It's just that certain people uh, some certain people was so fine. Yeah. And then other people, their immune system is so good. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I got severe allergies, which trigger my asthma, but I hardly ever get sick. Now, I may be out cold. Like, my allergies may cause a chest infection because I don't jump on it all the time. But me getting the flu, I hardly ever get the flu. Like, I think I got the flu in the last two years twice, and, and both of them was recent, right? Mm -hmm. I hardly ever get the flu. Like, I'll lose my voice. But it's always triggered with my sinuses and allergies because it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all connected. But like common cold stuff like that, I really don't. It really don't put me out as much. You know what I mean, <clears throat> but it's like this shit. Like like and I, I take um and this is this I put this like I can should go upstairs and show you. I take this vitamin D stuff. It's a little drop you put on your tongue. I've been taking that. And I've been taking that before all this. Um, I take this stuff. It's a syrup. It's called elderberry syrup. It's built yeah, in your that. immune system. Mm -hmm. Yo, it works like a charm. Because with me, like, you outside all day or you in a locked up building all day. So either way, yeah. you in like... like you win. <laughs> yeah, you touching. Yeah. You, like, you're fighting people. Like, right. it's, you got to think. Like, I mean, I'm always in contact. It, and like policing now is to like policing is totally different. Like let me tell you something right now. If anybody's outside and you got to draw your weapon and shoot somebody, like you know, a lot of unarmed black men begin shot. Like now, lock that cop straight up because I will. will I work in one of the most busiest cities in the United States of America, and pops can vouch for this. Jewels, you you listen. It, it's a, being a cop. It's like you just not gonna fuck with certain shit. Like mm -hmm. you stealing, you stealing. Like yeah. somebody walk in the store like, hey, they just ran in my store and stole something. Yo, go downtown, yeah. fill out a report. Yeah, I ain't chasing nobody. Or... I ain't cuffing nobody. Like for me to do that, you have Damn. to, I gotta know you murdered somebody. I gotta know you kidnapped somebody. Because my supervisor, if I bring back a simple arrest, my supervisors would kill me. Like what are you doing? Bro? Yeah, cause you risking your life on some petty shit. Yeah, over some petty shit. Like, nah, like, listen, it, it's policing is totally different now. It is already different because everybody got cameras. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't mind being recorded. I really don't. People can put a camera in my face all day. 
You know what I mean? But other than that, like a lot, like a lot of shit we're not allowed to do. We're, if it's petty crime shit, yeah, you let that slide. Like, uh, listen, the purge is around the corner. I'm dead serious. Yes. So I hope it's everybody. The same, like, I believe that. Yeah, That's crazy. Purge. I believe that. Where y'all at anyway? Uh, yeah, I don't be might be saying that, but it's true though. <laughs> it's the easy road. They get caught slipping in this type of weather if you got yeah. a beat or something. If you um, never caught a body before, you better get over it soon because it's going to happen. I'm telling you, like, I'm not even mm-hmm. trying to, be, like, like, it, it, it's around the corner. It's like too, it's too much shit adding up. Like, we already got, it's just too much, man. Like, at the end of the day, this is all population control to me, too. You call me conspiracy. And survival of the fittest. It's, it's survival, survival of the fittest. It's population it's, control, like. It's, Listen, man. It's who you know? At the end of the day, man. Like I, I feel like it could happen. Like I'm not gonna say it will, but I feel like the purge, mm-hmm. that whole concept, it could really happen. Like, I'm, I'm going just, to Canada, son. If that shit happens here, I'm letting y'all know. Canada, right? If it happens in the United <laughs> States, Canada, you Canada can't ain't accepted no more no. people. <laughs> all right, I'm finding a way out right now. I'm finding a way out. Man, you tunnel. black? They got enough black people in Canada. Hey, like, about hey. to say, they hit their hey. hey, I take I take the head off, man. I'm Ethiopian for a little bit, bro. Ethiopian. Hey, for a little bit. hey, they get a little pass up there. Yeah. It ain't gonna matter. <laughs> I have a different take than everybody. Maybe it's just me, but I, my question is, if you look at the news and everything, where it's spread or whatever, how come you don't hear anything that's coming out of Russia? Why is that? The when they border China. Yeah. When they border the Russia just kill people and, and, and stuff like that. I don't care. Plus, they, they, you know, they control their news outlets. Like, yeah. They don't really have... Just like nah. Mexico. Pop, you don't hear nothing coming out of Mexico. I think they developed something, gave it to the Chinese, the Chinese spread it, and the U.S. and the Russian government are in cahoots with a way to control the masses population. If we get this and go to China, we can control the Chinese because there's a billion of them, more than any, any country in the world. Go to the U.S., we can control them. So we can control all the folks of color. The whites, Supremacists and the Russian and the white supremacists in the U.S. have found a way to get this shit out there. The only problem is it start, it's affecting white folks too. But that's my that's yeah, my take on pop, it. Now let me ask you this, Pop. With that, with your with your, your point you just made, you got to think one of the biggest places that got hit was Europe. Like was that Italy or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, Italy. Again. They got yeah. white. Like they got but white it's, out. And, it, it was like, but I think that exposed yep. Italy from what I've seen as like that they, they wasn't really that great at sanitary and stuff anyway. Oh, no fault. The Italians are like in World War II. They don't get the Russians don't give a fuck about the Italians. They don't they, they really don't. It's about Russian like I said, who who knows what Trump and Putin talked about when they got uh, their one on ones? Has it been recorded? No. Has anybody no. noted it? No. Has it has it anywhere in the government what they talked about was private. Now, the Trump all of a sudden, out of the blue, he moves from New York, which is heavily hit, and he moves to Florida. Which is weird. Right yeah, I peep that too. And you notice Florida ain't really closing no, nothing. Nah, they, Florida, I, I just like seen like they, they about to open up their beaches again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, Florida just That's got like, new cases just from yesterday. Listen, but they opening up their beaches and yeah, everything. They like, I fuck seen it. it. Oh, oh, talk about Florida real quick, guys. One thing I did, and sorry not to jump around subject, but because y'all, y'all just triggered something. And um, one thing that changed for me is I started looking into other things. Like, if you didn't learn nothing new doing this shit, you crazy. I started looking into stocks, right? Mm-hmm. And I noticed Disney oh. stocks dropped. I just bought Disney stocks. Like at one point a couple months ago, Disney stocks was like seven, eight hundred dollars for one stock. Really? It is a hundred dollars. And you can yeah. see that people Every, are buying. all the stocks drop. All and, Yo, and, and all and of the stocks drop. Too. I invested in mad stocks. I took like at least like the little bit of Trump money I got, I took that. Yeah. And I don't even know if I should be saying this either. I took that money and I threw that shit in some stock market. I may win, I may lose. But I'm telling you, if you even got two hundred dollars sitting around, yeah. Buy some shit. Hey, hey, Stop, no. I know, I, I'm, I'm signed up with Robin Hood dollars. right now, so Robin Hood is great. I'm, I got Robin Hood too. Okay, cool. cool. So we all on the same vibe. You're putting me on to something right now. I like that. Yeah, it's called. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, I'm gonna see the yeah. app. I'm gonna see the link to the app. Yo, Robin Hood, yeah. man. 
Yeah. I gotta get I gotta get my temperature taken at like twice hey. a day or So I gotta piggyback on what Dave said as far as learning something new. I learned something just by watching YouTube, you know, I'm with the real estate and everything. And I didn't realize I might be late, y'all might know this already, but I didn't realize how much they sell on them containers. Like the storage containers, and you could turn it into a whole crib or whatever you want to do, um art galleries and all that stuff. And them containers be like Four or five thousand dollars, and you talk about the shipping. You gotta, you gotta own the yeah, land. Yeah, like the shipping containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I seen somebody deck went out for like fifty bands, and they living in it. You know, water, you see, all that stuff. Now I'm gonna That's pick dope. you back off what you just said, Mike. I mean, uh, Rob. I'm gonna Yo. pick you back what you said, Rob. So this to Mike, because that's a great idea. Really ran through my head because I I read that the containers and yeah. uh, that land by mommy. We was we was you in it. Oh, you talking about? Oh. Okay, I know you. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. we just get a couple like that's a story. Couple unit units. Right there. Oh, oh yeah, like you can buy some, like I'll be looking at property and land everywhere, like Virginia, Farmville. I'll be just looking at like what four acres of land be going for in Farmville or in Buckingham, and I just mm-hmm. be on it like yo, I'm about to buy that. I'm about to do this. Listen, bro. Like I say, if you ain't learned nothing new yeah. in these last couple weeks, like yeah. you, you know, like, we all thinking. Wait, you missing <laughs> your time. We, thinking, uh, yeah. we, we on exactly. something new right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that you know, that's a fact. That's what property uh-huh. value, stocks, especially the airline yeah. industry and all that stuff too. You know, we oh, all yeah, because you know, because yeah, because boy invested to the uh, airlines because they really? don't go yeah. up. Man. Yeah. yeah. I bought yeah. stocks in United Airlines. I bought stocks in Nissan because they about to come out with one of their self-driving cars soon. And their stock okay. is only $6 per stock. Wow. So I bought 10 of those. Okay. I bought what, stocks Nissan? in Disney. I bought stocks in Ford, right? Um, uh, and there's two medical companies that are, these companies are already testing for antidotes for this shit. Mm-hmm. So one of those companies uh, tests for Dave. antidotes... What's the name of those? Because I invested in 5G, 5G, and this other company, uh, Appian, A P P I A N. Um, one of them. What's the name Oracle? of those medical? One of them is Oracle. Oracle. Whatever. Yeah, I remember Oracle. Yeah, yeah. They own, they own the building that the Golden State Warriors playing. Right. Yeah. So like okay, that Oracle, okay. um, their stock is like twenty something dollars, whatever. Um, the other one pops. I gotta text you because it started with an I. It's like I N O V something like that. Yeah, because uh, and I just put I just put a portion of that money into my account with Robinhood. So uh, yeah, I did. I, I'm looking. Thing, up, I just I took like four hundred dollars and I just took that. I figured in my mind, I I wrote out all my bills, mm-hmm. like, and I'm like, yo, I can afford this, and this is never my like. This ain't my money right from the rip. Like, this is something tiny. But it, I don't say it's free money because it's not. We got to pay this shit back. Yeah, it's it definitely actually, comes I back. That, <laughs> I took that 400 and I threw that shit right in stocks. And the way I look at it is hopefully it, like, by June, you start to see that shit bo- yeah, start to shoot flips. up. Yeah, it flip it. Mm-hmm. Peace, I'll be ready to pay back that 400 up. Whatever. It, like, call right. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, definitely got, as send a family, that. I think we definitely need to be, well, I think that's definitely dope. We definitely need to talk about more about stocks for sure. Cause that's yeah, the, like, I've been on is, it, man, like heavy. Like, yeah. I, I got a couple. And then I'm going to send you it, right? When you okay. sign up, they're going to give you a free stock, right? Yeah. They and give then, you a free stock. And then they're going to give me one for sending it to you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, and so you yeah. just, and like my first two stocks, were free. I was I was like I ain't put my money in so I see what was going on. Um, they gave me S, S, yeah. uh, SM Radio. I got that stock. It ain't really worth much because that shit's dying out. But yeah, I got GameStop. There. I got yeah. the GameStop stock. Okay. Yo, you might as well get ready to sell that because GameStop about to go out of business. Yeah, all the games yeah, gonna be yeah. downloaded now. Yeah, all the all these <laughs> gonna be downloaded on the internet. Yeah. So yeah, just um, like how yeah. the movies is. <laughs> Well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think movie theaters, I think that uh, that might be a rough one now. Yo, I just read something. AMC is supposed to never open again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, AMC, they, they put out that they, they're so... Because they was already losing because of Netflix and all that. So they right. was already losing. This yeah. coronavirus, you just said... It is. Yo, yes. 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 Listen, yo, one of those movie theaters go out of business, you could buy that and turn that into the biggest sports bar ever. Imagine you going to watch the fight at a theater, yeah. bro. Yeah. I've seen and that. You set that shit, bro. Like, they did shit. it one time. Like, they what? did it one time, though, because I've seen it. There was a UFC fight, and they showed at select theaters. And I yo, bought so it. Ima- but imagine it. Imagine the- it's just a sports bar on a Sunday, Saturday night. On a, in the middle of the summer, you got the NBA Finals in Theater 1. Then you got the, a boxing match in Theater 2, a UFC match in Theater 3. Wow. Right? Yeah. A big-ass bar in the hey, middle. Hey, where your pen and pad at, man? Man, where your that pen and pad at, cuz? Bro, Mike, you put that in, in Farmville, yeah. that will provide a job for everybody, number yeah. one. Everybody will have a job. It will be the biggest entertainment draw. I'm talking about Police can eat off of it because they'll get overtime being out there. Yeah. Everybody will eat. Everybody. And you that got the open bar. The you got the bar right everybody. there. You got the and bar. Man, like, yo, that movie theater's got a business. Call yeah. me ASAP. We gonna put out. Put I will put my last into that, bro. Like seriously, like. Hey, I chip in. I chip in. We'll my five dollars. I got I'll you. I'll take bro. out the loan. I'll put in my name. I don't yeah. care. Like yo, let's, you know, let's yeah, you, yeah. If you think about it, I guess eventually it's gonna phase out because yeah. of the yeah. whole streaming thing. Everybody streaming, like you said, through Netflix, through all the um Hulu, the other mediums and stuff like that, and so. Just like how Blockbuster, the video store faded out. Yep. We have Red Boxes now. And, uh, and Red Box is going almost gone because of Netflix. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you're right. Uh, Eventually that uh, might phase out not, as well. Not, not, and now, look, movie theaters have, like the main thing about the movie theaters wasn't the movies anymore, because you could easily watch the movie online. It was the experience of yeah. getting the popcorn, right. sitting down, watching a big screen. Right. Like that's that's all you pay for, and then I, like my kids love the movies. Like I don't, yeah, yeah, I see what I did the thing. Yeah, 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 that's super, like, dope. super dope. Because my kids like real talk. One of our top things, and I think I got this from pops. Pop, Mike, remember we used to like always take us to the movies while he was working. <laughs> like so, that's all what I did the with the kids. Yeah, all the free movies, all of them. Yeah. So like. <laughs> As in, like kids, that's their number one thing is movies. Every movie right. come out, they want to go see it. Right. But now you spending a hundred dollars or or one buck twenty a pair on movies for a whole family. So it, it like that shit is going to phase out. I mean, um, but now that sports, I, that sports idea, that that's going to be yeah, it's a good that's, idea. That's huge. Man, huge. I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna show y'all my book of ideas and shit that I'll be like, yo, I think I could do this. I think I could do that. Yo, I got so many ideas between that sports bar. Um, like, like I got so many connections up here with a lot of like high school coaches, basketball coaches. Because a lot of the high school basketball coaches up here are people I played against. And they're now coaches now, whatever. And I was like, damn, I could really corner the market. And I said, uh, having these kids go out of state to these AAU teams, I bring everybody here to Jersey, buy a warehouse, yeah, and you know crazy. Over house of hoops, hey, like pops, I'm, like that's crazy. And they do hey, you with the football. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I know the Essex County College uh, basketball coach. See, like, so it's everybody. They just, you know, they just weird. won the championship, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I know get a person. Building, person. Get a building, turn into a gym, and have everybody turn come there. Uh, the house and weed. I, like I want to invest in weed, but I can't right now. Not in that state. I can't. Nah, it's just because of what I do. Oh, well, you're so, okay. Y'all unless it's federal, like yeah. technically, even if it's federal, like I can't own a liquor store. I can't own a nightclub that serves liquor. Like I can't yeah. legally, I can't do it. Okay. So that's the same thing with weed. Like I would like to invest in weed. I don't know if that's, if I could do it out of state. Pops, maybe you can answer that. You see there? Pops, what's that? Could I yeah. could I own a liquor store out of state or a club out of state? Being doing what I do, uh, out of state. Th- yeah, that's a good. Question. I never thought about that. I don't believe so, but it, there may be because it's out of state. Now, what it what you can do, and and and, and say 
Mike buys a liquor store. Right. You don't have, you're not like, um, and he buys it in Virginia. You could be a co-owner because it's out of state. I believe that, I believe, yeah, I believe you could do that. Because right. it's not a company that's here right. in New Jersey. And it's not all underneath his name. Is he just, you know, so you want yeah. to take forward? He can be a, like, like, like a, a solid partner or an investor. Yeah, right. investor. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. All right, I'm gonna look into that. Like, yo, I got a ton of ideas, man. Like, for me, like, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm just gonna have to do it, bro. Like, I'm really gonna have to do it, man. Like, um, once this is all over, I was in the middle of this. Is another thing that Corona messed me up. We was in the middle of buying Lori's own wax business, whatever. And we was like right there. Then this hit, and we would have been just sitting on. Like she does a little bit here and there from the house, the basement. I got a little set up for her here, but right. like I'm trying to have her own studio for that shit. Like, right? uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Word. This is a perfect time to have uh, for Lori to have some uh some clientele. Nah, yeah, her clientele is there, man. They they be hitting me like, yo, can you tell your wife? I'm like, nah, you go directly to her because that's the, that's the weirdest shit in the world. What you like, mean? Hey, this chick I know. Want her box? <laughs> Want her box shaped up? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to do Mike that. over there, he finally got. It. I was like, nah, I hit my wife. I, <laughs> Uh, something and they figured uh, let me ask you. nah so that it's like I'm here I'm a partner but that's mad weird like hey babe look this chick I know wants to push you back yeah uh, like, how did how, 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 how like, that conversation like, come up <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I don't I don't bring it up yeah I don't bring it up I'm like oh she wants that business yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dave. So, like, <laughs> but listen, fellas, look, I'm going to go ahead and, um, um, in this session, um, we definitely going to go ahead and uh, continue this and do this again. Um, maybe we can do this weekly. I also want to get involved, uh, the females that are um, in the family as well, too. So we can go ahead and, and get their point of view on everything as well. Like Aunt Nancy, exactly. our wives, you know, uh, our significant others, Rob, you know. Um, and let's bring everybody and get everybody's point of view. You know, get the whole family. Rob, you putting your significant other on here? Uh, Rob, you about to put your lady on here, Rob? Nah, I ain't got no lady, bro. I'm chilling. I told you, bro. You worry about myself, bro. <laughs> that <ain't> myself. <laughs> that ain't the story. I just heard, nah, man. Yeah, that that's all right. <laughs> no kids. I'm just putting all the money in the piggy talking. bank, man. Yeah. The nurse she was just talking about. You said what? What happened to the nurse she was just talking to? Man, she tripping, man. She, she, she got mental issues, man. She, 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 she a nurse. Got all the people in Detroit acting up, bro. Don't worry about it, Rob. I got. You said what? I got somebody in Canada for you. Oh, uh, yeah, go. I bet you do. Yeah. Nah, I did. <laughs> yeah, too. I'll do I'm going to stay right here in the A-Town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yo. But all right, yeah. fellas, I'm about to check up out of here. All right, fellas. All right, fellas. seeing you all. Uh, we definitely going to do this again. Love y'all. Peace. Love y'all back. Love y'all too, man. Highlight y'all. All right.